Hello everybody, back for our final math session today. Now I know it's Thursday, but tomorrow is non-screen day. Um, so you're not looking at any recorded lessons tomorrow so that you can try and have a screen-free day. So last math lesson on time and we have whizzed through this. Now, please bear in mind at home that normally we would have done time probably across 10 days to two weeks. So again, this is a whistle-stop tour of time. Um, so if you want to practice any more time um, with your own clocks at home, um, then please do um, continue on with it. But we will be moving on um, to addition and subtraction after half term, just so that we can go back to those operations and make sure that we're ready and we have lots of practice before you guys go off to junior school in the next six months. So we have got our number eight again, make an S and do not wait. When it's joined up, you have an eight. So can you pause the video now and have a practice at this? Well done, everybody. Okay, so what do we know so far? What do we know so far? So there's two of these that we've looked at. Pause the video now and discuss this. Apologies, these ones are a little bit blurry, but we know you're quite right. We know that this one, when it's pointing to the 12, this minute hand, we know that it's o'clock. It is o'clock. We know with this one, that when we've got that minute hand on this six here, that it means half past. So, so far we've learned about o'clock and half past. I'm not quite sure if any of you can hear the background noise there. We've got work going on around us. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Okay, so what do you notice about my clock? And there are two ones that we haven't looked at here and here. I wonder if anybody knows or has learned about time previously. So what do you notice? What if I split? Knowing what we know now about fractions, what if I split my clock into? Pause the video now and have this discussion. Brilliant. I have split my clock into quarters. There are four parts, two, three, four. I have split it into quarters. And when we think about these quarters in time, we either say quarter past, where this long hand is on the three, or we say quarter two, where this long hand is on the nine. So at the moment, it's quarter to 11. If I go back round, it becomes 11 o'clock. If I go backwards in time, which doesn't happen, but we've got caught, sadly, would be exciting. Um, we've got quarter to 11 or 11 o'clock. If we go round past 11 o'clock, we go to quarter past where my minute hand is on the three. Okay, hold those thoughts. So this is what we're going to explore today. So here is a little bit, let's cover up the bottom of my screen first of all, so we don't have too many distractions. We're just gonna look at this first bit first. So match the clocks to the correct time. So what I would like you to do is pause the video in your classes. We've only briefly talked about this. So I've been super impressed with, it, with whatever you're able to do. Um, if you're at home, pause the video and have a little look with this with your brother, your sister, or nan, granddad, mum or dad, whoever's at home with you and see if you can match the clocks um, to the right uh, statements, the right sentences um, for the times and then come back to me when you finish. Excellent. So we have got one here that says, let's start with this one. It's quarter past is nine. Quarter past three. Now I'm going to look for an hour hand that is towards the three, nearer the three. And I know that with a quarter past, I'm looking for um, a minute hand that's on a three and an hour hand. So I'm gonna do this one, quarter past three. And then I'm gonna do another quarter past one. It says quarter past four. Now I've got my hour hand towards the four here and I've got my minute hand, my longer hand on my three. So I'm gonna put that one to that one. It says quarter to four, quarter to four. Now I want 
an hour hand that is really close to a four. And I know that my quarter two is when the long minute hand is on the nine. So I've got one here that's on the nine and one here that's on the nine. Um, but I want quarter to four. And this one looks like it's closer to the four. So I'm going to do this one and quarter to three. This one here looks like it's going towards the three. I'll recreate this one. Here we go. So I'm going towards the three. If I come round, then it's going to be bang on the three with the minute hand at the 12. So this one is quarter to three. I hope you guys came up with the same answers that I did. So quarter two and quarter past are a little bit more challenging. You have to look at the hour hand and think, is it going towards that number or is it past that number? Where is it on the clock? Okay, so tell me the time quarter past. So I'm gonna stop my share. I'm gonna hold up times for you and you're gonna tell me the time. Quarter past three, excellent. And you can see that this hour hand is moving towards the four. Quarter past. Five, excellent, quarter past five is moving towards the six. Quarter past seven, excellent, it's moved past the seven towards the eight. Let's do another one. Quarter past nine, fantastic. Now, I think the one that I've got next is tell me the time, quarter two. So now we're going to have to think about quarter two. So I'm going to have my minute hand, remember, for quarter two, which is 15 minutes to the hour. It goes on the number nine. So it's quarter two. This is almost at the 10. It's quarter to 10. So quarter to 10 o'clock. It's now almost at the 11, so it's quarter to. Fantastic, 11. Quarter to one, it's almost at the one. If I come round here, it makes it to one o'clock. Quarter to two okay brilliant so what i would like you to do is with your clocks that you made let's go back to my screen share earlier in the week i want you to have a practice where your grown-up or the person next to you um says a time to you and you have a go at making it with your clocks for quarter past and quarter two before we go away and do that what i would like you to set, think about is these stems so if the minute hand points at the three, let's do that. How many minutes have passed the hour? So we've talked about this being at the three and it's 15 minutes. There are five threes, one, two, three. Remember every number is a five minute interval. So 15 minutes past the hour. That's your stem sentence that I want you to repeat over and over. If the minute hand points at the nine, how many minutes until the next hour? Remember, if that's 15 past, and that's got to be one, two, three, three fives are 15, it's got to be 15 minutes until the next hour. So as you're doing that for your quarter past, okay, or your quarter two, try and stay the, say the stem language on your clock as you are doing it. So have lots of fun with that, pause the video now and then come back to me when you've finished. Brilliant stuff, lots of you practicing there. So we've done both of these things and this is your task for today. So you have got to think about those hour hands and those hour shorter hands and those minute hands, which are longer. 
and you have got the times written underneath here for you. So you've got quarter two times here and you've got quarter past times here. And you're going to have to draw in the hands on your clock. OK, so you're going to have to think about where the hour hand would be and where the minute hand would be. Now, one of the things that I would recommend you do is for each one is you have a go at making it on your clock first. So if we look at this one, quarter past three, I've got three o'clock, then you can find quarter past and you can draw the hands in from your bigger clock so you can have a practice at moving them round. I can't wait to see all of your time work from this week. Remember, we really have whizzed through this. And what you guys can do after this is do lots and lots of practice. Try and look at the clock every meal time. Every time you do something, pause and look at the clock. And with the support of your grown ups, see if you can read the time. But it is goodbye from me. Goodbye from Panda. And although you've got one last day tomorrow, we both hope that you have a lovely half term and I will see you back after half term for more mess. Bye.